having finished the top sheeting I've now turned the table round or the workbench round and I now have the trailing edge. Uh, the next step is we're going to do a two piece trailing edge section. Um, you'll notice on mine, and I think this might be pertinent if you have not, if so basically you're going to follow this video before you actually start building it. My table here, the back end of this wooden plate, is still short off the end by about 10 mil. Now, my advice is if you're watching this before you actually start to build, make this wooden plate, these two back plates, actually right on the edge. Because you can see here where I've actually had to just cut a little groove into the back of my workbench to get them to fit. Anyway, the next subject is the trailing edge. So we're going to need this sheet of bolts and this piece. Uh, to see pick up the right bit is 380 mil so what we need to do we need to cut four pieces that are going to be 20 mil wide so we're going to need four of those and then the next step is I'm Okay, centre rib, first rib out. From here to here is 50 mil, and I've marked this line as an aid for me. So the idea is, is it's going to do that. That's what we're looking for. just like that you want that end fitting like so so this is the bottom part of the trailing edge um, that's all now glued in place remember the rear of the trailing edge comes to 50 mil this line just here uh, I'm going to do the next one on, on, the, on the other side and then the idea is this is just the same like so on the top but I'm going to obviously cut that to length that's one side of the top and bottom of the trailing edge done. Now, little tip here. When you come to do the top piece, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. So just be careful when you come to take your measurements that allow for the fact that there's a bit of a curve. Because if you just go straight across and measure it and then put the curve in, it's going to end up being short. Just a tip there. So I've finished the trailing edge, top and bottom. The next thing you're going to need is this. Um, this is for the servos, to cover the servos. That's going to fit on there like so. So just get the length right first. And then I'm going to pin it in place. And just mark where the this leading edge comes to the end here. And then there, and I think the idea is that it all literally will just drop in place and notch around this piece of sheet here. So there you go. I've made sure that you need to be one rib in. I've just clamped it in the right places. I've cut it to the edge. And now all I've done is I've run a straight edge along this lead then edge sheet, the rear of it. And that's given me the edge. And then just looked over, excuse my head looked over and I've just measured that okay so she's cut and that is actually does not require any treatment which is quite remarkable so I'm now going to glue this this has all got to get glued to the leading edge so I'm now going to glue all this down and then the next bit we're going to need to get some um, of your scrap balsa. So hopefully you haven't chucked these out. And the idea is, is that when this is glued in place, I am then going to measure this up like so. And cut myself another section. And we're just filling in 
this area here. Okay, that's the top servo sheeting done and the infill done. Now you need this, and we need to cap strip just one, two, and three. So we're going to cap strip just the tops, and then you need one of two of these sheets because that is going to sheet this bit here. Now it's slightly overhung slightly of either rib. I'm going to leave mine like that just over the edge a little bit but I'm just going to cut mine to size and then this is going to get glued down to here and the three cap strips on here. That's the next stage. Okay centre section's done, outer panel's done, the infill's done, cap strips are done. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side of the wing. Um, that's all for this episode and then the next episode we're going to be looking at doing the underneath and also the what I understand is called the Horton tail which is this bit here.